Hey, Danny K coming to you for Danny K. Jim Wallace, and I know it has been a minute. I'll put my little tools down there. It has been a minute since I've gone live to give you a tip. I've been so slammed, so blessed. Um, and if y'all are missing my lives, blame Juan Colegio in uh, Canada for uh, giving me all these uh, uh, appointments and everything that I, I just can't, I can't keep up with everything. So I've been blessed. Um, so, but anyway, hey, Christine, what's going on? Hey, Sandy. So I wanted to come to you and hey Kitty, so um, I was speaking with Paula, I was speaking with a friend of mine in Wise, the grocery store, um, like Friday, I think it was, and um, you know, she's like, hey, I miss your lives, you know, and we were talking about working out and you know, a couple of her friends come here to the gym and stuff like that and she really wants to try and get in, all this stuff, whatever. So I'm gonna give a shout out to Lisa. So, um, so basically we were talking and then she was like, you know, I know like muscle weighs more than fat and blah, blah, blah. So I kind of said, no, it doesn't. So how many people, hey Robbie, like how many people, and, and not trying to say, you know, like you're, you're wrong or, or whatever, but how many people think and how long have you thought that muscle weighs more than fat? Okay, so if you think, and or if you, if let's just say this, if you thought before, hey Bobby, if you thought before this video, um, you know, before you're starting to hear the, you know, the, the, the answer, the true answer, the myth busted, um, how many people, drop a one if you think muscle weighs more than fat. Um, so, it, so drop a one, drop a one in the comments if you thought before this video, muscle weighs more than fat. If you, you know, just kind of like, cause a lot of times females use that as an excuse as to not lift weights because they think, oh, muscle weighs more than fat. You know, thank you Kitty for that. Um, and, and, and again, not calling you out like to say, haha, you're wrong, just because everybody thinks that. And, and hey, Christina, she dropped the one. So, I mean, and I used to say that, but knowing that that's not truly, truly what I meant, right? So, um, basically, muscle does not weigh more than fat, okay? So, when you have a pound is a pound, okay? Hey, Sue, a pound is a pound, right? So, if you have a pound of bricks and a pound of feathers, which weighs more, right? A pound is a pound. So if you have a pound of fat and a pound of muscle, it weighs the same, okay? So one, I thought so too. So yeah, so, but that's the myth, uh, like the misconception. So I'm gonna bust that myth. Um, so a pound is a pound. So a pound of muscle doesn't weigh more than a pound of fat, right? So, and here's my little, my little tools that I have, my little models I have up on my desk all times. So everybody's like, oh, what's that? Is that a candle? Is that a salt rock? No, it's fat. It's a pound of fat and this is a pound of muscle, okay? So it's kind of hard to see like on video or whatever, but see the, the difference? Like, do you see the size? Do you see the size of a pound of fat and a size of a pound of muscle? And look how like smooth it is and look how bumply gumply, you know, okay, you know, the fat is, right? So a pound is a pound. So a pound of fat doesn't weigh, uh, yeah, whoops, a pound of fat doesn't weigh, or let's say a pound of muscle doesn't weigh more than a pound of fat. They weigh the same, okay? But, the, so the thing is, when you're speaking about, like if you lose a pound of, let's just say, for scale, right? Okay, so a lot of times, especially women, will come to me and say, the scale didn't move this week, but, I lost, you know, like a half inch or, you know, my pants are fitting looser, right? But the scale didn't move. How did that happen, right? So here's the key. So if you, let's just say, right, you, the scale didn't move, right? But you lost from working out, eating right, you know, proper nutrition, which, hey, I know a nutritionist that can help you with that, right? Um, so a pound of fat, so let's say, you know, on the scale, you didn't lose any weight, right? So you lost, but you lost a pound of fat, but you gained a pound of muscle. Right? So basically, if you see, if you can see the, the, the area that the pound of fat takes up and the smaller area that the pound of muscle takes up, it's smaller, right? So when we lose a pound of fat, but we gain a pound of muscle, the area is smaller. So that's why the scale doesn't move, but the pants are looser. Make sense? Drop a two if that makes sense. Drop a two. If you're watching right now and if that makes sense, drop a two. So if you're if you get, hey, Jenny, Jenny took her first class of Koga last night. So, you know, drop in the comments how awesome that was. So Kitty said too, that does make sense. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out there again. So if you lost a pound of fat 
and you gained a pound of muscle, therefore the scale didn't change, but that's why our pants are loose, right? So I'm seeing a lot of twos. So I'm seeing I'm getting I'm getting to you guys, right? So Bobby, two. So don't, ladies, especially ladies, don't be afraid to lift those free weights. Don't be afraid to gain some muscle, right? Because when you are losing fat and you're gaining muscle, you're, you, you see the space, you know? So you see this space. So let's just say, you know, well, I always, I always pay, take a, um, an area um, like on my desk or something and I put out, you know, like 10, 10 or yeah, yeah like nine, like three, three by three, you know, uh, nine square space of nine pounds of fat, right? And then you put nine pounds of muscle in there and there's space for three or four more pounds of, of muscle to go in, right? So when you're losing, it's leaner and smaller in size, exactly. So it's more smoother, as you can see, a pound of muscle is more smoother than a pound of fat. Still weighs the same, a pound is a pound, folks. A pound of bricks and a pound of feathers weighs the same, okay? So a pound of bricks might just be a half a brick, right? but a pound of feathers might be two garbage bags of feathers. So again, like you said, it's leaner and smaller in size. So a pound of feathers, if it's two pounds of, or two garbage bags, that's a huge space, right? Versus a small half a brick space, right? So that's where it's at, folks. Muscle, a pound of muscle does not weigh more than a pound of fat. Physically, scientifically, just impossible, right? It's impossible. So Bobby says, so, it is safe to say by feeding the body proteins and veggies, we're fueling the muscle, exactly. And see more, I don't know if I can see more while I'm live, um, but how does the body know where to trim the pound? So basically, I always tell people like this, a good question. So a lot of times, especially women will be like, I want, I want the fat going here and I want the fat going here, right? But I'm losing it here and I'm losing my legs. You're losing it all over. Okay, so when you lose fat, you're losing it all over. When you lose weight, you're losing it all over, okay? So I always tell people to give like an, an analogy. So I hate to bring up snow. Ugh. Anyway, but if you have, like if you look at your driveway and you have two inches down here, hey Patricia, hey Patty, what's going on? Um, when you have two inches of snow down here and a three foot drift up here at the top of your driveway or, or let's just say your driveway's flat, okay? And you have two inches of snow and a three foot drift, okay? Say you don't shovel it, which I'm a fan of that. I hate shoveling, I hate snow, I hate winter. Um, but, so if you let the sun melt that away, okay, what are you gonna see first? You're gonna see if two inches melt, you know, and you see the driveway down here, now you know two inches melted away, but did two inches melt over here at the three foot drift? Of course it did. But you don't notice it because there's still so much snow left, right? So when you're looking at your body, hey Chris, so when you're looking at your body, hey Jenna, when you're looking at your body and you see like your arms are leaner, your legs are leaner, you don't want to lose from your boobs, you know, but you want this gone. Well, this is like your three foot drift of snow on the driveway, right? And this is like your two inch, you know? So if you just, again, with the analogy of the snow and the sun, if you have two inches and three foot drift and you let that sun melt it, the two inches will melt away. You're still losing two inches over here on your three foot drift. However, hey Jeanette, Jay Hitch in the house, what's going on? Um, so if you, need a, if you need a house sold or you need to buy a house, hook up with Jeanette, she's badass. But so you're lo still losing two inches or, or two inches of snow here. It's just, it's taking longer for the snow to melt. So it's going to take longer for your thicker areas to melt, to burn away, okay? So all of this, this is great information. So, um, and if you're watching it on the replay, later on, if you're watching this on the replay, you know, definitely drop, drop the, the word replay and tell me that you're watching on the replay. And, um, you know, tell me how anybody watching this right now, tell me how this has helped you and helped you understand that a pound of fat does not weigh more than a pound of muscle. A pound is a pound, folks. It's just like, Chris, um, like Christina said, a pound of muscle is just leaner and smaller so there's more size. So again, if y'all missed it, go back and watch, but I'm gonna say it again. If you are trying to lose weight and you didn't, like you went through this whole week, you proper nutrition, 
from, you know, the best nutritionist in Carroll County. Um, and, uh, you know, you got your proper, efficient, you know, workouts from the best trainer in Carroll County. Um, but, um, it, you know, so you've, you're working it, but the scale didn't move this week, right? But your, your pants are looser. Here's why. Again, I'm going to tell you why again. So if you lost a pound of fat, but you gained a pound of muscle, scale's not going to move, right? Pound is a pound, right? So if you weigh 150 and you lost a pound of fat, which makes you down to 150, 149, but you gained a pound of muscle, takes you up to 150. Scale didn't move. But now my pants are leaner, uh, lo looser because this made smaller area, right? Ha! Channeling your inner Blake. I know, because Kelly don't do nothing. Kelly's just Kelly. I, but you know I love my Kelly. But yeah, my, um, my Blake, you know, do, 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 do. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to throw that out there to you guys real quick. It's been a minute, a long minute since I've done a live, a tip of the day. Um, but Lisa wanted me to throw that out there. She goes, please, I love your lives, you, you know. So, um, you know, I wanted to throw that out there to you. So I'll probably tag Lisa in it so she sees this because she's like, please, please, please. So Teresa Marshall, she does home training from the Internet. Yes, I do. So, yes, I definitely. Melissa, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so I do online training. Um, Krista uh, Martin, she's on. Um, uh, she's down. Uh, what is that? Hagerstown, I believe. So I do her. Um, I even have a couple of clients that are in, you know, Hampstead. Um, you know, they can make it here, but it's just time frame wise. I do online training for them, so I can do online training. I have done online meal plans for Bobby, um, who is from Dying Breed. He's the basis from Dying Breed. I've done a meal plan for Melissa in Dying Breed uh, via online. I've done a meal plan for Bobby's um, wife via um, online. You know, so anything and everything. Thank God for technology. So um, with that, ha, Cindy, she just popped it up. She's like out there. What's up, Cindy? She's out there and she's like, she's like, uh, next time uh, when, when you go live, put a red light so I don't walk in on a live. But I'm getting ready to train Cindy. So um, thank you guys. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If this video resonates with you and, and this tip hits home and, and helps you, maybe there's someone else that this can help with, help, help you can help them with by sharing it. So please click the share button, share it up. Um, and again, if you're watching on the replay, drop the word replay. Tell me where you're coming from and tell me how I can help you on your fitness journey because that's what it's about. And uh, here comes Cindy. So, um, you know, and I do online training. So no matter where you are, if you're watching this, I can help you. Whether you're here at Westminster or somewhere else, I got you. So, um, what's up, Cindy? Anyway, stay tuned, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.